Uh, the electrolysis is a copper sulfate solution taking place using copper electrodes. That's important because the electrode makes a difference. Um, we would expect the mass of the electrodes to change. What change in mass would you expect? And use half equations to explain your answer. Um, let's quickly draw, in fact, uh, let's go back to this diagram here. As a, I really quickly sketched out a diagram here. Uh, we've got two electrodes, positive and negative. And in this solution here, we've got copper ions, copper ions. Now those copper ions, they are going to be attracted to that negative electrode. Those copper ions in that solution are going to be attracted to that negative electrode. They're going to touch it uh, and they turn back to copper atoms. That's what electrolysis does. It takes ions and turns it back into the electrons in its simplest state, in, in its simplest uh, way of thinking about it. So here we're going to have copper atoms. So that's our half equation, the start of our half equation for the negative electrode, for the negative electrode, the cathode. Okay, the copper ions were in the solution, Cu2 plus aqueous were in the solution. They're going to go to that electrode and turn into uh, solid copper, elemental copper. Now the currency for electrolysis is electrons. So these are positively charged ions here. Electrons are negative, so they're going to have to gain uh, two electrons. They have to gain two negative charges to balance out those two positive charges. So we would expect the cathode, because it's gaining solid copper, to go up in mass. Go up in mass. Now the anode. Positive electrode is the anode. Okay, uh, if the electrode is made from copper, okay, it's made from these copper atoms. These copper atoms when we turn the current on, this copper electrode will get involved in the electrolysis. These copper atoms will dissolve to make copper 2 plus aqueous. So if we start with these copper metal electrodes, the copper dissolves. So at the anode, the copper is the electrode. So that's elemental, so it has no charge. It's a solid. It's going to touch, uh, sorry, it's going to dissolve to make Cu2 plus uh, aqueous. Now, this has no charge. This is two positive charges. How do we get from something with no charge to have a positive charge overall? Answer, it's, this copper has got to give off electrons. It's got to lose electrons. Because they're being given off, they are products on the right-hand side. So the solid copper is dissolving, so this goes down. Uh, in mass. All these questions on AylshamHighChemistry.com